Hello, Michelle. Welcome back. How are you doing? I'm good, Annalisa. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome, everyone, to our cooking uh, session today. So this is our first official. You want to say why, Michelle? Yeah, so this is our first official cooking get-together uh, with Cook in Tandem. So we're going to cook together. So she yeah, has to do yeah, we're cooking yeah. together. Yeah, you're going to cook your specialty and I'm going to do mine. Yes, yeah, so today we're, we're uh, celebrating um, our heritage. So heritage where we come from. So we'll talk a little bit more about it uh, as we are cooking. So should we get started? Yeah, you're going to start with your recipe today first? Yes, um, I'm starting with uh, chicken adobo. So very, very famous dish all over. I come from the Philippines. And so everybody that's watching out there from the Philippines, hello, mabuhay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because this takes a few minutes. So basically we have a recipe in Kukaidu. Uh, yes, it is available in Kukaidu, chicken adobo. So we'll go ahead and start cooking. Oh, wow. This Filipino recipe in Kukaidu? It, yes, I was very surprised. Uh, the Filipino recipe is in Kukaidu. So we're hoping to, as we get more Filipino cooks out there that are using Thermomix, and I'm going to make sure I will uh, uh, you know, share with as many uh, Filipinos as possible, Filipino-Americans, Filipino around the world, um, then we will be, we're able to put our food, uh, our recipes in there too. Wow. So I put three garlic cloves. And just take three seconds, speed eight. There you go. No chopping of garlic. Yep. I don't miss that part. I do not miss <laughs> garlic fingers. <laughs> so I'm just going to push it down here. Wow. This is uh, finely chopped. I don't think I could do a better job than that. Yeah. It's so good. So I'm putting um, I'm putting like the boneless chicken thighs because this is gonna be um, actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip the the chicken part. I'm gonna put in the soy sauce because this will be like the marinade. Okay, two ounces of soy sauce. I have a I I pick a um, lo less sodium soy sauce. Low no sodium. Yeah, the low sodium, yeah. Okay, next. And vinegar. Three ounces of vinegar. So as you see, it's garlic, vinegar, and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. So pretty much really needs no refrigeration. Mm. Next. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sugar, because why not, right? Yeah, that's the mixing for the marinade, the meat, the chicken. Yeah, this is the marinade of the chicken, yep. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of peppercorns. I already put that in. Okay, and then bay leaf. We call it laurel in certain, uh, in the Philippines, we call it laurel. And then we're going to insert the measuring cup. And just, um, just going to mix it all up for 10 seconds. So it's mixing all the uh, main ingredients. So really adobo is just that. Just garlic, uh, soy sauce, vinegar, pepper. Okay, so then it's asking me to transfer to a bowl and basically marinate the chicken. I already did that ahead of time. So we're gonna do like a step ahead. So I'm going to do, um, I need a slurry. So I, I pre-mix a tablespoon of cornstarch with a tablespoon of water. So I'm just going to put that. And that, this one to give the thickness of the, the sauce. So this will thicken, yeah, this will thicken uh, the sauce. So it's not going to be too um, liquid, yeah. So I put that in and then so um, now it's, I'm going to put the reserved chicken. I 
And the recipe is gonna tell you that you have to pre-marinate the chicken. Right, so basically, um, if, if it would have been an hour ago, I would have put the results of the, that mixture into, into the bowl. So this is exactly what I have in the bowl. And then I, I marinated it for about an hour. Um, so all the flavors uh, seeped in. And I am using, I'm not a fan of chicken breast, so I like dark meat. So I'm putting uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's good. Yeah. And so, that's your flavor. You know, the breast sometimes, if you don't do it right, it's dry. Yeah, it gets dry. All right. Everything is in there. And uh, there we go. So now the fun part, it's going to cook for 18 minutes. Um, and it's like the speed at 0.25. <laughs> it's just gently mixing. Just spitting, yeah. Yeah, it's stirring. So there you go. So you want to go ahead and start with your dish? What are you making yeah. today? Today I'm going to make risotto, limone, pepe, and majorana. I come from Italy and um, Campania. So it's the Amalfi Coast area. You know, Sorrento, Pompeii, it's all the area. We have a lot of lemon. So I choose, uh, we love risotto. So I choose to make, um, I was debating between uh, gnocchi alla sorrentina and the risotto. But since I don't want to, next time, we're going to do it next time. Yes. Yeah. So we can do a rice dish next time. Yeah. Or a gnocchi dish. <laughs> or gnocchi dish. I'm sorry. So like whatever is, yeah, similar. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, so now I'm gonna make the risotto with the lemon. We have a lot of lemon on where we live. It's lot, a lot. So if you go, if you come to like September, you smell like these flowers of the lemon and it's like amazing. Even June, end of June, the night when you walk on the street, it's, it's like amazing. Awesome. So, yeah, so now, uh, Okay, so we do start. We need 50 grams of uh, cipolla, which is onion. So I pre-measure, so I'm gonna put it in the cipolla. I'll put a little bit more. So the next, uh, I'm gonna go to speed five for five seconds. So now it's gonna check, I'm gonna chop my onion. So now I have to just creep it down. So in five seconds, you have like nice. You don't have to cry anymore. Because when it chops, it goes on top of the mixing bowl. Yeah. Now we need 20 grams of extra virgin olive oil. If you have the scale on the thermomix, I just, you know, just get it from the bottle and just uh, measure 20 grams of butter. <laughs> the little piece got stuck there, it didn't want to go inside the bowl. So now we put back the measuring cup and the lid, and we go three minutes, um, 120 uh, Celsius at speed one. Now he's sauteing the, the, uh, the onion. Okay. I like to take the cap off because this way is evaporating and it got more brown. Yeah, so I think um, you did tell me that one time because sometimes if you put on the cap, uh, it gets strong like uh, the taste of garlic and stuff, and it helps if you have that off. It tastes strong, uh, but if you keep everything close, the steam stay inside, and it, yeah. doesn't, uh, it doesn't escape. So right. you got mushy uh, onion. But I like it to do this way. 
So I yeah, yeah. you see this the, the vapor is escaping, you see it? Yeah. It's very more brown. Yeah, I found that you know, since you, you told me that the last time that I didn't have to cook the garlic extra or sauteing garlic or onions a little extra, it just does it perfectly without the measuring even better without the, the measuring cup. Yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, because every, I mean, when you have the thermomix, you experience and you try stuff, you try new stuff that, uh, whatever you like, you can accommodate it. Like you can change it. There is no, nobody that's going to tell you anything. <laughs> right. This is uh, our own, assist, our, our own uh, assistant chef, you know? Yeah. So we yeah. tell him what to do. He tell us what to do, but we tell him what to do. Yeah, exactly. We're the boss of our kitchen. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, um, if you see here, I don't know if you see uh, mine, but I, uh, you can see uh, Michelle. The there is red light. So when the thermomix is hot, it's becoming red. So it's it's um, cash calcium. How do you say calcium? Calcium. It's, um, it's what? It's a warning sign that you don't have to touch. Oh yeah, so it's a it's a warning to to tell you that it's hot because right now when you see the red, it's right now up to 195 degrees Fahrenheit on mine, and it's supposed to go up to 212 for this dish. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's drizzling, and you can smell the onion, and I'm gonna add oil all over my kitchen. That's the best. Thing. Yeah. So it beats you going like this on a, you know, on a pan. Because this is you doing it. Yeah. Thermomix. Yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. don't um, have the thermomix or you cook by yourself, you have to stay close to the stove because otherwise you're going to burn the onion and you have to redo it because it's right, you can't leave. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like that. It's big. Right. And the thing is, if there, if you leave, there's nobody stirring it so that it doesn't burn. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I just, you know, I love this, especially with this part of the cooking. <laughs> you didn't have to cut the onions. You just peeled it, quartered it, right? And then same with garlic with mine, just peeled it, put it in and that's it, yeah. You see now the, the onion is like a cream. Oh, okay. It's perfectly. Yeah. It's got like a cream uh, texture. So yeah. Yeah. So if you skip a step, you can always go back. So now I have to put in 320 grams of rice. I got this brand here. It's Carnaroli. And the brand is cool. Curtiri, curtiriso. I don't know. I don't okay. Know. Yeah. You can find in America. Carnaroli. So is that like um, how many minutes does it cook? Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay. So I'm gonna put three hundred and fifty grams. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit over. Okay. And then make sure you have enough for everyone. Yeah, I do. And then you have to put, let me stir it together. Okay. And then we do next and without the measuring cup, we have to go, there is a reverse speed, so speed one, and it goes, the blade, it goes on the other side. And it's, uh, it's gonna be 120 for three minutes. Now it's gonna toast the rice. So I'm gonna go speed one. And now for three minutes, it's gonna toast the rice. Oh, you are muted. You are muted, Michelle. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. So I was saying it's, um, it, it's like you uh, helping you stir the toasting of the rice. Otherwise, you would be doing that in a pan. Yeah, you have to do it in the pan. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. it has to like, get the toasted to um, soften it. Yeah. Well, first of all, risotto. 
I've never done it outside of thermal mix because I'm really scared. I'm intimidated by how much you really need to stir in order to have a very good risotto. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did it before and it takes a long time. Takes you have to have a, I saw it on a TV, like you have to have a hot stock and you keep putting the stock and stirring is what they were doing. And I'm like, no way, I can't do that. And, and um, yeah, it, it's a long time. You have to be in the stove like for a hour or more because you have to do the onion and then you have to toast it and you you are you always have to stir and stir and stir otherwise it's gonna touch to the to the part bottom it's gonna stick right yeah stick and that's it and that's the end of risotto if it sticks it, <laughs> it destroys the dish the sticking yeah so i'm gonna take a little peek as to uh oh cool it's just stirring the chicken. Reverse mode. So how you eat the, the chicken? What do you pour next to it? What do I? I mean, it goes with the uh, rice. It goes with. It goes with. Um, okay, yeah. So basically, um, so it's like a national dish in in the Philippines because Philippines is very tropical, right? So it's very hot, and uh, there's no like people you know, with your refrigeration. Not everybody had refrigerators back then. But then you go to the market and get the chicken. You gotta cook it right away, especially in the summer. So by, by using the adobo with the vinegar and the soy sauce and the garlic, it perfectly marinades it. And it's almost like a ceviche, right? With the vinegar. Um, so you cook it right away and then you could just let it sit on the stove. And the longer it sits in that marinade, the better it tastes. It's so even for uh, so this way you don't you know the chicken doesn't go bad. It doesn't go bad. You don't need a refrigerator. You could leave it on the pot. So when people are, you know, you could cook it ahead, and then when people are ready to eat, um, we serve it uh, typical with white rice. So the Philippines, like uh, like most of the Asian, um, are uh, rice oriented. So rice is our main starch. So yeah, so we serve it with white rice. I like. Rice better than pasta. I know the Italian they like they like pasta a lot. So yeah, I, I do pasta, but I prefer rice. Then we do next. I have to put eight hundred grams of water. Uh, almost there. Okay. And now we do next, and I put a little salt. I go by eye, it's a one teaspoon. But I, I, I always go by eye. So now we have to mix it, everything together, because now the rice is all on the bottom. The toasted rice. Yeah. Well, we mix so so this way the liquid is gonna go on the bottom. Okay. Put this here. And then put this back on. And then we do next. And I have to put the uh, the basket on top because this way you know the 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 wine. Did you put the wine? Oh, the, the steam, it will steam out. Yeah, was steam. yeah the steam uh, is taped. And so you put the basket up, you don't pull the... the um, yeah. The steam so now we're gonna go for 14 minutes. Um, a speed one, 100 uh, Celsius. And okay. it's always the reverse mode. Okay. Yeah, so it's mixing it, see, like, no sweat. It's mixing itself and you could walk away and I can, do, um, I can do the dishes that I have in the sink. I can do so many things. I can go do a load of on, on my wash machine. Yeah. Oh, I can prepare something else. I don't I have two moments. Yeah. So Sometimes I, I, you know, to speed up the process, I do two things at once. So when this do something, I go and the other one, I do something else. I prepare bread or... Oh, wow, fish. that's great. 
Do you have a restaurant quality meal? Mm -hmm. um, in like in in like, don't you know the same time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Michelle, how? Um, what's your heritage? So. Oh yeah. So like um. So this is Filipino heritage. So um. So I am from the Philippines. I. I come from Manila, which is like the main, uh, I guess, the capital of the Philippines. So I'm very excited to really, like with this adobo, I was very excited to see actually the recipe. So I was happy about that. And I'm hoping that we get more recipes like this in if I do. Yeah. So with your um, risotto, right? So that you, you put like lemon and um you need lemon zest at the end and lemon zest at the end okay yeah, there is majorana is that marjoram yeah it's it a, sounds like marjoram yeah yeah, okay. it's an herb. yeah and then uh it was requiring uh stracchino but i couldn't find it here of course i live up yeah. in New York. you know okay. this stuff you can find more down in the city Okay. It's not that uh, popular. Like we call yeah. It. Yeah. Sure. So when I have to do a big, I have to go down to the city and uh, if I want something specific. Yeah. So the specialty, Italian specialty stores. Yeah. yeah. I go down there, I buy stuff, but up here is a little, you know, you, you have to uh, adapt. So right. I went online and see what's the substitute for uh, crescenza. So I, uh, the stracchino, what do I say? Stracchino crescenza. Crescenza, crescenza. And um, so ricotta cheese is the substitute. So I got okay. I'm sure that will, that will taste awesome. If you go in restaurants, like in Amorficos, they have risotto with lemon. They have like pasta with lemon, uh, lemon skin. Okay. There is lemon everywhere. Like there is so many dishes that we can do with lemon, cookies, and uh, I oh love wow, them. yeah, yeah, it's very abundant there, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So why not, right? You put it in the dish. Um, what in, um one of my favorites is the lemon, orange lemon. I love them. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I have, I have about um. A minute, almost uh, less than two minutes left, and we're gonna. I could check like if it's cooked, but I'm very excited. Like you know, with our first cooking get together, uh, me and Alisa partner together in uh, what we are launching as Cook in Tandem. So watch out for our website. We're gonna have cookintandem.com. We're gonna have uh, blogs. Uh, you're gonna see us all over the place, uh, sharing our passion. Um, also passionate with thermomix. Yeah, we love to cook and we love thermomix. So it's a good yeah. pair. <laughs> yeah, it's a good pair. And, and we love to do this work because when you, when you have a passion for cooking and, and thermomix makes the cooking so easy that sometimes when I have to prepare something, I'm like, oh my gosh, it is gonna, it took me like before, because when I came in the United States, it was 99. Then 2001, I got married. And there was no Thermomix, nowhere. So I was like, oh my gosh. Because in Italy, everybody has a Thermomix. So in the family- No wonder there are all the good dishes there. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want a Thermomix. Then I went to Switzerland to my sister and she had a Thermomix. I'm like, oh my goodness. Have it? And I don't have it. Yeah, oh, I have one. Yeah. Yes. Finally, we find somebody that that had the TM twenty one about like two thousand and three. Okay. So we got the thermomix. So I got the the TM twenty one. So I was like, okay. So I was making pizza and everything. It's not like this one. You know, it's the old one. Look at the screen. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And you know, now we have the new feature. We can boil water. Uh, you can boil the eggs. Sorry, I said water. You can boil the eggs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a quick peek. Go ahead. Keep talking. I'm just gonna take a quick peek. Oh. Make sure that it's uh. And, and now with the recipe that we have, if you go through the recipe and you have to do like a step, like a dough, something or pasta or gnocchi, uh, there is a video 
between the recipe and it's going to show you how to braid the bread, how to fold it, how to do the gnocchi. So it's so nice now that we have these recipes with, uh, with videos inside. I saw that when uh, my son cooked pasta, you know, he loves butter pasta. I'm just going to cook it another two minutes. Okay. And uh, it showed the video of like, how do you take off the pasta, put it in the Varoma, and then, you know, rinse it, shake it. It was like so cool. I was like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's, it's nice, you know, it's nice to know what you're doing. Because sometimes if you read it, I'm like, okay. Uh, but if you see it like with visual eyes, the video, yeah. you get it better. Yeah. And, um, and we have the warmer now. So if you make something ahead, you can stick it back in the thermomix and you warm it up. It will keep warm. Yeah. yeah. You have That's more and more. Every, every time is more and more and more. So you can update your thermomix. It's not that you're going to lose it. Right, and that's and that's the great part about you know what I call connected devices. It's because you know we bought it one time, right, and then uh, it just dropped all the changes without us knowing it. Really, it just updated itself, and then suddenly it's there and it's available for use. And the recipes and everything are adjusted. Or if somebody like wanted uh, submitted uh, an improvement for a recipe, it just changed on its own. So yeah, it makes. You know, it makes it easy for beginners to to look good. You know, it's it's very easy to cook, very easy to bake. I never baked before, mm -hmm. um, so I started baking when I when I got my thermomix back in June. Yeah, and, and it's yeah because it's easy. And it's, it's easy. I didn't know. I just put the flour. Just put this. I just put this. Just followed what it says, yeah. and then that's it. You got you got bread. Let us scale out. Uh, this and this and this and then your contents are this full of stuff and you don't know what to do. Yeah, I, I, my pot, I have not, my pot, I have not taken it out. Yeah. Oh, and I'm so excited about the pre-clean mode. The pre-clean mode was so much better. It's so good. It has like four, uh, like four options. Four options. And you can choose which one, whatever you cook. Yeah, that is so cool. All right, I think this is done. So I'm gonna just transfer the chicken into like the serving bowl. And it's hot. I wish I was with you now. I had the risotto <laughs> and you had the chicken. <laughs> there you go. I hope this COVID is gonna pass fast. Yeah. So but, you know, we have we have Zoom and we can cook together. Next time we're gonna make a drink. So at least during the conversation we can drink something. Oh, that's that's a great idea. So definitely we'll start our cook in tandem, cook get together with a toast, <laughs> oh, with a drink. That's a great idea. Yeah. And I actually replenished my liquor cabinet, so I you know just the the small sizes of this. Yeah, for the thermomix, so it's easy. So when we want any drink that we want, I've got, I will have the mix for it. So I am just, because this is very hot, I'm, I'm using this to just take the chicken. Yeah. Wow. It's cooked. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks yummy. And this without frying, you know, like, uh, so healthy. And really, I, no oil. No yeah. oil. I didn't put any oil. Yeah, because the meat already has already has oil anyway. You know, the so all natural oil of the meat. Yeah. Actually, it's a, like a healthy way to cook, because you know, it's, uh, because I'm Italian. Sometimes you do, you know, you do the Sunday sauce, and yeah. you throw a bottle of <laughs> olive oil in there. Uh, and you know to do the sofrito and everything when I did the sofrito with the thermomix I said two ounces of olive oil I'm like what the first time a lot. and yeah. I, was, I thought I think it's two liter but it was enough it was enough for the recipe 
And I feed 10 people because I cook the pasta and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. So two ounces of uh, olive oil was enough to do it? Yeah. Wow, enough. that's awesome. Every time I do a recipe that is new or something, I'm always amazed about the terminals because it's, it's un unbelievable. Every time it come out the same way, you see the picture. Wow. I'm gonna put the, actually it's gonna finish, it's gonna thicken the sauce now, so, but uh, I'm gonna use the spatula, because my chicken is caught here. Okay, there we go, now it's free. All right, I think I got all the chicken out. Um, we'll go on to the next step. Another step? Yeah, it's just gonna do without the measuring cup. It's gonna thicken the sauce now. Oh wow, so it's gonna use the thickening mold? Uh, let me see. Yeah, so I, yeah, it is thickening mode with the Varoma. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta take off the measuring cup. And uh, Varoma, five minutes, B2. I have two minutes left, so it's okay. Mine too. So I was saying, so we got the Thermomix here. And people look at me when they come at my house. Well, what's this thing? I'm like, yeah, it's a uh, bimbi. We call bimbi in Italy. And they were like, uh, they were like skeptical. I'm like, you look weird. I'm like, oh, listen, <laughs> it, does, it does a lot of things. Yeah. So I made the, every time I made the focaccia and um, uh, granita and limone. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Because every time it, I do it, it reminds me. Italy, like the Amalfi Coast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did uh, and yeah, you mentioned that last time. Yeah. I was emailed the company because in Italy the TM5 came out like five years before us. And oh. I was emailed the company. I didn't want to buy from Italy because it doesn't work good here. So I was like, okay, so when are you going to bring the thermomix here? When are you, and then they went to California. And then we emailed an email. Finally, they call me back and they say, oh, it's finally in the East Coast, like three years ago. Okay. They told me, you want to become a consultant? I'm like, yeah, I want to, yeah, I love the product. I know, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know the thermal mix yet, but when I saw the first time, I'm like, my, I like, like a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm going to buy it right now. And yeah. uh, my husband came with me, so we, I'm like, you have to buy this for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to cook anymore. Yeah, it's it certainly, you know what, I eat, uh, I eat out less because I could cook all the stuff, like, you know, like the risotto, I was able to make it. Yeah. Um, that's actually the first dish that I tried because I said, okay, is it really as good as, uh, you know, I hear about this thermomix? I'm like, oh yeah, it did. First night, I had the Parmesan risotto, and I even made the profiterole for dessert. It was like, what? Yeah. And my, my kids and my, my family, they're all amazing. You just did that? I'm like, yeah, but this one. <laughs> it's true. Oh, his mom is calling me. So, so as to stay for one minute, as to rest for one minute. Okay. Wow, that's good. Be soft, soft for my one minute. So yeah, finally we did. I did the training, and after like a week or two, I was already a consultant. And I talk like when they see me, they say, oh, "The thermomix lady." <laughs> 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 so you were you were the you know one of the first in the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, it was one of the first in the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah, that was so, awesome. Yeah, up here I was the only one for a little while. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's amazing because it's like I go, even today I went to um, DHL. Yeah, and I DHL. Did, I was like telling the guy the thing and he said, we have to do the package. I'm like, yeah, listen to me first. And then we do the package. <laughs> 
to you to do the package. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Explain it to him and he said, I come from Africa. So, you know, I'm like, yeah, you should get it. So you can cook by yourself. You say, I'm alone. I'm like, yeah, take the thermometer home. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I'm not going to feel home, uh, alone anymore. But yeah, I talk with everybody because I believe in thermomix. I mean, uh, yeah, it's your passion. It's our passion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whatever they say, I'm like, oh, you have to try it. You have to try it because if you don't try it, you don't understand. Absolutely. I mean, it's a lot of like time savings, right? I don't have to clean anymore. Uh, this is it. And it pre cleans itself. I just need to rinse it and we're done, right? It's uh -huh. like, not the two, three, four pots and pans and all that stuff that we need to do move like normally. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go and say to put the rice in a uh, serving bowl. That's a very good serving bowl. Excellent. Wow. Look at the lighting. It's nice and creamy. A lot of rice. I'm gonna get every little piece out. Oh, I need that rice with my adobo. <laughs> <laughs> you are so far away from me. Yeah. Oh, so this is the rice. I think we finish at the same time. So now okay. it says to put the ricotta inside. Let me get a, just a spoon. Yeah, and while you're doing that, I'm, I'm gonna pour my the sauce in the chicken adobo. Okay, so I'm gonna put the ricotta and then I'm gonna mix it together. So creamy. It's already creamy without the ricotta. Now it's like, Wow. So you could do it to taste, right? Yeah, it's 100 grams of ricotta. It's just, you know, to mix it together, to get the creaminess in the dish. Let me see. Okay, I think I got it already. Sorry, the noise. <laughs> <laughs> and then now we need to put black pepper on top, like this. And then majorana leaf. And now we're gonna grate my lemon. So you always twist, you don't want to put the white stuff in it. Oh, yeah, those are bitter. Yeah, or oh, you twist the lemon. And put the old lemon in. Why smells great? Looks yummy. Let me grab more. All the good stuff. Yep. It is cool inside. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. And I am done too. My the chicken is ready. Here you go. I think you have to go a little bit more back. Back. Yeah. Wow, looks great. So now what do you do? You put rice on the bottom and uh, the the. Actually, so uh, basically you. But, you know, when you eat, you have a plate, you put some rice, and you put some chicken. Yeah. Well, I want to just show you how it looked like on the, um, the recipe. That is, that, the is same. Awesome. that is awesome. I don't know if you've see, you seen the lemon. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, it's so good. So just following the guided cooking, uh, you I know, to the sea, just follow it. I was talking to you and the Thermomix did everything for me. That's right. Yeah, because we are like, today I talk with you, but other days I do stuff. Right. 
right exactly and we don't so, even, I, I mean we don't go out especially now with this pandemic I prefer to stay home because I don't know who's going to go to the restaurant. I like to go to restaurants because I don't, I sit down and they, they bring it to me. They serve, exactly. There's no cooking, but you know, now, and, and, and same thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit, you know, you kind of have to be watch, you know, to watch yeah. and be careful about, you know, being safe in uh, places. Yeah. Yeah, if it was before, you know, we go like once a week or once every two weeks. But now it's like we try not to, uh, either you order out if you don't want to cook or you don't feel good. I mean, yeah. good. we take it out. But uh, I mostly do at home. Yeah, but in, in the beginning, like it, it's limited, right? Even the choices, like when we had the shelter in place, it's tough to even do that. Yeah. So, and that's the reason why I decided to finally buy the Thermomix because I needed help. I'm like, I keep cooking the same dish over and over and over and over again. It gets like boring. Yeah. That's what am I going to cook today? What am I going to cook today? What am I going to cook today? <laughs> yeah. like, see, how well, much? 66,000? Yeah. Um, we're about almost 63. Yeah. Oh, 63,000. 63,000. Yeah. 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 And, 63, and, they, and growing. Yeah, they just, you know, just um, a new collection came out, the warm-up collection. So every month or every two weeks, a collection comes out. So it's all like... Yeah, so I think we could, if I check it right now, yeah, we could see. I think the last time I checked, it's almost 63. Let's see what it says. Yeah, it's thinking. So... But the, the great part about, um, oh, it, it filtered my chicken before because I was like, and that's a good part. Like, it, you could see how, you know, it's, it's like cool. an iPad, all the screen, it's touch screen, and uh, it has like all the countries. You could filter by language, region, um, major category of dishes. Oh, yeah, it's 63,106. Wow. We, we passed 63. <laughs> we passed, we passed 63,000. So in, yeah. wow, well, I looked at it like a day or two ago. Wow. They dropped a and lot of other stuff. Yeah. You know what I was thinking? It's good to bring it. A lot of, a lot of people that I know, they got campers or RV because they oh, okay. yeah. they want to go to the hotel like to, they don't want to go to the hotel, like for this pandemic. So they want to, yeah. so a lot of them that I know, they got RV and yeah. it's a great thing to have in RV. My friend, she, she got one and she bring it everywhere. So that's actually a great idea because from what I heard from my friend and this is before, you know, we got together, I didn't know she was going to go in RV. So you, you have to cook in propane and then propane, you have to buy the gas. Um, but meanwhile, if the plug with the low wattage, they could have just plugged it in and not have to keep buying the propane. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And then you don't have to worry about it to blow up. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> exactly. You're safe. <laughs> okay. Well, this is this is awesome. And uh, let me. Yeah. Up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. next week we're gonna prepare something else for you and. I don't know if it's going to be one of our region or something else. We're going to think about it. We're going to surprise you. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to share and um, like us. <laughs> Absolutely. Share, like us, love us. <laughs> and keep watching for us. Uh, we're going to be like sharing a lot of stuff. Uh, and this is the first cooking get together with Cook in Tandem. So you could find us too, cookintandem.com. And you're going to see Cook in Tandem everywhere. Yeah, you're going to read our story. We're going to see yeah. how much. <laughs> we'll share our passion and our story. So again, my name is Michelle Amarino. Thank you, everyone, for being with us this evening. And my name is Annalisa Del Grosso. And thank you for watching us. And come back. We're going to see you next week. Very good. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Philippines. Bye-bye. Italy. Bye, Michelle. Bye. See you soon.